Hey everybody, it's Ben here, and I gotta get some stuff out of my garage because I've got this Ford pickup truck that I just got, and unfortunately with its exposed batteries and everything, it's not even like I can really park it out in my driveway all winter. I gotta have it in the garage, but it's taking up all my space. And right here I have a wheel horse electric lawn tractor that um, I got, it needs a little bit of work. Um, I know a guy who's looking for a tractor for uh, winter uh, snow throwing, snow plowing, that kind of work. Um, so what I'm going to do here is pull these non-working batteries out of here, see if I can get it to work on some other used batteries, and at least that way I can move it around, hopefully sell it and get it out of here. Uh, this thing runs on 6-volt batteries, so you can see two of them up under the hood here, and there's going to be another four of them under the seat. So uh, I can pull the four out of the back, replace those with two used 12-volt batteries, and then up in the front here, um, put in one 12-volt battery and test out. Hopefully it should run. The first thing I'll do is mark the positive and negative battery cables so I can remember what goes where later. Then I'll completely disconnect the middle battery cable. Keep in mind that these batteries are completely discharged and the main power disconnect is off. After that, I'll disconnect the end cables so I can pull the batteries out. It's a real simple strap battery lifter. It's got hooks on the end that line up with these uh, little plastic tabs. And of course, it's plastic. So if the metal ends hit the battery posts, it's not going to short circuit anything. So we'll see if I can even lift this. Oh, that's heavy. So after pulling this battery out, it's uh, pretty easy to see what one of the problems was. Right down here, clearly a crack. So I'm sure this battery must have been discharged um, and then allowed to freeze. And you know how water expands when it freezes into ice and busted out the corner of this. Normally you keep your batteries charged and the charged up batteries, uh, they have a much, much lower freezing point and it's, it's not an issue. But on an old battery that doesn't get charged, left out in the cold, it can crack. And then it doesn't matter how much water you try to fill back in uh, for the electrolyte because it's just going to leak out the side. Negative towards the front, so I'll make sure the battery orientation matches that. And I'll have to clean up these terminals, but basically they're just going to go on like that. And that again need to get cleaned up before tightening those down in place so here's the back of the tractor and it's got four six volt batteries back here so i'll have to mark the uh, positive and negative cables and then uh, start pulling those apart again the first thing i'll do is mark the power cables after that i'll start disconnecting the cables connecting the batteries these batteries are 100 percent dead and the main power disconnect is off One little trick with all this here is that these batteries are designed to completely fill up the space and there's kind of these sheet metal tabs here uh, so you can't pull either of these batteries straight up and the negative cable gets in the way over here. So you pretty much always want to take this battery out first and put that battery in last just to be able to get the rest of them out of here. One thing you'll probably notice here is that this uh, metal box doesn't seem so sturdy. I can probably, you can see how I can really shake it around like that. Uh, what happens is people overcharge the batteries, a little electrolyte comes out, it sits for years, and it rusts these bottom edges. Uh, but this entire thing sits on this big steel, kind of a giant C-channel. It's really, really sturdy. So back here, the fenders, this box, and the seat 
um, they might not seem like they're real solid, but what the batteries are actually sitting on um, is rock, rock solid. Sometimes here in the back, um, that gets cleaned up with a little extra sheet metal, just kind of tack welded on just to stiffen it all up. But there's no reason why a, a pair of 12 volt batteries can't go in here now. Positive cable here, negative cable here, and then this will need a, a jumper cable coming across this way. No, this is generally where a person needs to be a little bit more careful now with uh, wrenches and things. So for example, this wrench, I've got some uh, heat shrink tubing on it, uh, so I can't short circuit things. Also, the wrench is shorter than the distance between the battery terminals of a single battery. So that helps too. Uh, there's also tools you can use, stuff like this to clean up uh, both the battery terminals and the ends of the battery cables before assembling things together. Uh, keep them clean, make good connections. So I found an old battery cable to connect those two batteries. Um, again, this is all just temporary, just using whatever I, I have handy. The proper way to do this would make sure there were some nice rubber battery boots uh, over these uh, connectors here. I also, these are not bolted down. Bare minimum, I'd put some wood blocking in there or something to, to hold them in place. Uh, but if we look over here, we've got a fuel gauge. And this is uh, the battery disconnect switch, a little bit different than on an Electrac. But if I just push this in and turn it, we'll see power connection comes on. And then if I turn the key and listen, you hear a contactor click on. I'll make sure we're in neutral. And this tractor has a foot pedal. A lot of the other ones, they have a kind of a hand control right here. But if I push this, we can hear the electric motor kick in. So it looks like I can uh, clean up around here and I should be able to at least move the tractor. So the tractor is now in running condition. Unfortunately, it looks like uh, this battery right here, that one's uh, pretty junky. So I'll see if I can find something else used I can throw in there. So this tractor is going to need a little bit more work, at least uh, one different replacement battery. Uh, but as it is right now, it does roll around all by itself, which is a good thing. So I can uh, do some rearranging, I can make some room, so I actually have space to work on that Ford Ranger EV pickup truck in my garage. Um, as always, make sure you please check out the description of the video. I always put uh, links and lots of other good information in there for you as well. Uh, please like, comment, share, and subscribe to my videos. Check this all out over at 300mpg.org. And until next time, stay charged up. <laughs> Get the camera. Oh, that's so bad. <laughs>